So Neo here, Neo stock will be reporting their earnings today, April 29th after the market close. And this is going to be an important quarter for the company. The earnings call will be live at 8 p.m. Eastern, so a few hours after the results are out. Now, in terms of what to look for, EPS is expected to be negative again at negative 15 cents per share. Revenue is expected to surpass $1 billion at around $1.06 billion for the quarter. And this represents almost a 450% growth year over year. But this is a bit of a skewed metric, guys, because Q1 2020 was when the global issue hit China hard. So there wasn't a whole lot of activity going on there with car sales. Guidance for Q2 is also going to be a massive factor here for the stock going forward. It's going to determine what the outlook for the business is like here in the short term. And Wall Street investors are going to be paying close attention. So in Q2 of 2021, analysts are expecting NEO to pull in negative 13 cents of EPS, which would be just over a 19% bump year over year and brings them just a little bit closer to that profitability mark. But the real star here is the revenue expected, which is $1.2 billion, representing a 125% growth year over year. Now, here's the thing. We already know that Q1 2021, Neil had a record delivery quarter. In Q1, they delivered just over 20,000 vehicles, representing a 423% year-over-year increase. This is despite the chip shortages that has forced them to shut down their factories for five business days. And three of those days were actually realized in March, as it started on March 29th. This also means that there are two days in April that were affected, and this will slightly affect guidance for Q2, because obviously when you have a factory shut down, that's less cars that are gonna be able to produce. Now you may think two days is fairly negligible, but you know every day kind of matters here when it comes to guidance with specific numbers of cars produced and delivered. And you can bet that analysts are gonna be paying very close attention to it. Now, of course, this should be priced into the stock at this point, but you never know. The good news though is that you know from Tesla's earnings call, we found out that the chip shortages wasn't as big of a deal for Tesla as you know some other companies may be facing. Tesla had other issues in the quarter and the chip shortages were kind of like the least of their worries. And they seem to have done quite well, you know, navigating through that. So Neo may be in the same situation here. It may not be as big of a deal as the media is putting it out to be. The only way we're going to find out, guys, is from this earnings report and when they make comments on it. Now, what I also expect to hear on this earnings call is some details on their expansion to Europe. Neo is making moves to start going big in Europe to compete with Tesla there because you may or may not know Tesla is building their new Giga factory in Berlin and that's slated to open later this year. So it's clear that competition is heating up in Europe and this opens another huge market for Neo. There are other German EV makers, you know, Volkswagen, Mercedes, BMW. They're all also focusing now on EVs. So that market is going to be quite competitive over the next few years. However, I believe Neo and Tesla have a superior product, at least right now when it comes to EVs. So they have a nice good head start. And this would be amazing for Neo because this would be the first step really in making this a global brand, a global business, and something that investors you know, consider as not just a Chinese play. There's a lot of negative sentiment when it comes to Chinese stocks and some of it's justified, some of it's not. I mean, that's really up to your interpretation. But the fact of the matter is, if a business is able to deliver something worldwide and it gains adoption and brand recognition worldwide, it definitely has a lot more staying power. A good example is DJI. Now, they're not a public company yet, I don't believe, but they have a worldwide brand, even though they are kind of a Chinese company. And you can see reviews online. People rave about these DJI drones. They absolutely love them. So Neo could be in a very similar situation here. Today on Twitter, Neo also announced their Neo Park, a 11.1 square kilometer campus with over 10,000 research and development staff and 40,000 technical workers. But the real part that investors are gonna like here is the new 1 million vehicle production and 100 gigawatt hour battery capability of this campus. This park, guys, it's expected to be huge, obviously, for Neo and should pull in 500 billion RMB per year, which is equivalent to around 77 billion US dollars. 
We'll also hear some more details on the ET7, which I'm sure if you haven't heard by now, it's their new sedan, which will be competing with the Tesla Model 3, Model S, and of course, any other sedan out there. And this is another big initiative because up until now, NIO has only sold SUVs, which limited their market, their reach, and their potential. And over the last few days, we also had analysts come out two of them actually, and share their thoughts on NEO with price targets. One of them actually uh, it reiterated their price target and the other one actually initiated coverage on it. Both have a buy rating. And you don't really hear this too often where analysts come out and you know share what they think before the earnings call because a lot of stuff can be divulged in the earnings report which can change perspectives for the short term and change the price targets and all that stuff. So when you see analysts come out before the earnings report, either they just don't care about their reputation or what's more likely is that they actually are incredibly bullish on the company. The first analyst is from Deutsche Bank who comes out and reiterates their buy rating with a $60 price target, which is actually pretty huge, around $20 from today's price. The second rating was a new initiated coverage from CLSA with a $50 price target on NEO stock. Not quite as high, but still very good upside. So there seems to be a lot of stuff kind of coming together here and it's all going to be revealed after the bell today. We're going to get information on this, but we're pretty much going to have to wait until 8 p.m. tonight, so a few hours after the earnings comes out to really get the details on what's going on, what their future plans are and all that kind of stuff because that's when the conference call is. Now, if you're interested in checking out the conference call, just go to their website, check out the investor relations page and you'll get the details there. Now, in terms of the reaction that I'm expecting from this earnings report, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this was fairly muted and we kind of saw this with Tesla. That being said though, if you compare NEO to Tesla over the last six months, even though NEO is up 25%, it still pales in comparison to what Tesla's done over the last six months, which is up over 66%, which is almost three times as much as NEO. So maybe NEO gets a bit of love here, you know, they report some good numbers, some good guidance, and money floods back in and this thing shoots higher. Or maybe we go lower. Who knows, guys? Earnings are always a coin flip, heads or tails, Pick your side because no one can ever predict what's going to happen with earnings. You can have stellar earnings, you know, hit on every single metric possible, but the stock still sells off. That's just how it works. Or you can have the opposite, you know, have a terrible earnings report and the stock shoots higher. Guys, that's just how the stock market works. So don't overthink it. Don't play earnings. That's just my opinion. Because if you do, that's, that's pretty much a recipe for disaster. Just focus long term and you typically will be fine with good businesses. Anyways guys, hope this video is valuable. Share it with a friend as well who may be interested in NEO stock. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're brand new here. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.